here with Jitsi Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. I am back with another fragrance from the Brambleberries Joyful Holiday Collection, and it is the Vanilla Apple Cinnamon Fragrance. And of course, the soap inspired by it has to be apple pie, right? Because that's just what came to mind. It only made sense to do an apple pie themed soap. So that is what we are doing here, and I am just gonna combine my lye solution with my oils, there's also the Tussa Sill, coconut milk powder, kaolin clay, and sodium lactate in there. All really good stuff in this recipe. And so I'm just going to use my whisk and combine it and then split it off and try and get some layers going on in this soap. So I'm going to start off by pouring out the first layer of this and I'm going to apologize about the neighbor's dog that decided to just start barking as I started filming. So if you hear any dog barking, it is not my fault. It's not my dog. Alright, so first layer is going to be like the crust part of this. The fragrance notes are a coconut, lime, lemon and it does not sound like it's going anywhere apple pie but then it goes into apple cinnamon and clove with base notes of ylang ylang sugar and creamy vanilla and so i am working with this fragrance that turns soap brown because it has vanillin in it and so of course we're just going to get some nice shades of brown in this soap so I'm just going to tie that all into the design i added some titanium dioxide in that to lighten it up a bit. I'm going to give this a little whiz because again we're trying to get a nice crust color so I'm hoping that if it does this color to a dark brown that white kind of lightens it up a bit. And then I'm going to add some walnut shells to this first layer and we'll start pouring. got my four pound workshop heritage mold here and I'm going to pour in this layer this very thin layer and I'm not going to use all of this I'm going to set some of it off to the side so that I can use it to pipe on the top to, to like make the crust match the bottom oops so not all of that's going in I'm going to let that set up and then I'll get together the next part of the soap So I blended that up to get it to a light trace and I poured off just a little bit of it into this little side cup here. I'm not going to color that. I'm going to let the fragrance do its thing. It's going to naturally just color the soap and it'll create a little bit of swirl in, inside of the soap. Into the big bucket, I'm going to add some of this Magic Mushroom uh, Mica by Nurture Soap. I don't know why it took me so long to discover this color. I absolutely love it. Add just a little bit of that to even out the color, add a little bit of sparkle and a different shade of brown. I also have some soap cubes here, they're different shades of red, and I coated them in some gold micas, and those are also going to go inside of the soap. So I'm going to whip up this big batch here, I'm going to pour in my fragrance, do an in the pot swirl, and then we'll start pouring it and layering in these little soapy cubes here. So I've got my bowl all scraped out. I still have that um, 
soap batter off to the side there that is going to set up eventually and I'll probably just add a little piping on one side of this so that I can make it look like crust. These are some little apple slices. This is a mold I bought off Amazon and I will leave the link down below. But I am randomly going to place these all over the top of this and hopefully I can get it to look like an apple an apple pie is obviously what I'm going for here, right? So I decided to color these a very, very light looking green, I suppose. It's like a yellowish green or maybe a Granny Smith apple green because I tried to do a baked apple look with adding a little bit of brown to it and they honestly they just looked like little ears so I had to scratch that idea and decided to just go with like a very pale green maybe before the apple pie goes in the oven this is what it will look like and I'm trying to save some room over here maybe I should, that's a good idea to put that crust on um, and then I'm going to coat this in, this in some melt and pour that I will probably color a, a, I don't know, caramel looking color to be like the brown sugar and cinnamon glaze, the juices that are inside of the apple, and seal it all in. Maybe add some cocoa powder or some more walnut shells to the top of this to really get that cinnamon look. Maybe I should just, I don't know, I, I kind of like them going in all different directions, but I don't think they want to fit that way. I need, to, I need to concentrate on that here. I don't know, maybe we'll do one that way, and one this way. Um, yeah, we'll make that work. I think I got this now. Just randomly place these all over the top here. Try not to think about it too much. Okay, Tierra, maybe you do need to think about it. <laughs> that one's crooked now. It's okay. It's not going to be perfect. It is going to get cut up anyway, and it is fine. <laughs> if I need to fill it in, I'm going to fill it in with that clear melt and pour anyway. So, yeah. I recently found a new craft to get into, and it came about because... I have all of these different molds laying around that, you know, I've bought one mold of something here and there and it doesn't make many embeds and so it's just kind of like I bought them to, maybe when I first started soaping, you know, to have laying around in case I needed that shape. But now that I have all of these molds, I'm like, what the heck am I going to do with them all because I'm, I'm not using them. It's like, why did I buy this to use it once? I discovered resin. I discovered resin jewelry and that most of the things that I have lying around can be incorporated in resin jewelry. So like soap making, you have different micas and you have different molds and guess what? You just buy some resin and mix those things together. Glitter, dried flowers, all of these things can be added to resin. So you guys, I have a new hobby. And don't worry, soap making is not going anywhere. But it's a lot of fun and I'm, I'm still, you know, learning as far as um, how to mix things properly. But I'm going to probably do some like earrings and maybe some keychains. And I think now I'm just gonna pile a couple of these on top of here, like that. All right, I think I'm happy with this, kind of. All right, look at that, apples are on. I'm going to leave some pictures of some of the things that I've made at the end of this video. You guys tell me what you think. I'm thinking maybe keychains or barrettes, but I can use most of the things that I already have in soap making. I'm a very crafty person. If soap making doesn't do it for you, I make anything I can possibly get my hands on the materials to do it, I will try making it. That is just the kind of person I am. And that's honestly how I got into soap making. Alright, let's see if I can get a bit of this crust piped on here, which is this open tip. I have no idea what I'm doing as far as the design of this. I've never piped crust on a soap before, but we'll see. Maybe 
No. When it darkens, I think it's going to look more like the crust that I wanted. So, hmm. I think this will work. All right. And so now I'm going to get some melt and pour. And I'm going to fill in all those little crevices in there. I'm going to get some cocoa powder and sprinkle that on there. And I'm going to think about this crust a little bit more. And there's something else I should be doing to it. So before I cut this, I wanted to give you an, an idea of the molds I was talking about. So I bought these molds years ago and I used them like one time to make soap. And these are originally made for resin jewelry or resin art. And so I just thought I would try my hand in making them and I, I think I'm going to continue to do that. So who knows, you might find some fun jewelry or earrings or keychains or things on my website with maybe some matching soap. Who knows? Who knows what I'm going to get into. But let's get into this soap. I am going to cut this apple pie soap and I'm really excited because it looks so realistic. <laughs> So the colors are starting to darken because of that fragrance, which is good because I really want that crust color to look more, I don't know, like crust. <laughs> so there is the melt and pour on top, so I just want to be careful as I cut into this. But let's see what the inside looks like. Pretty! And it smells so good. So it's going to continue to darken, and I will try to remember to post a picture of what it looks like once it's fully darkened. If not... You guys are going to have to follow me on Instagram. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I usually post a lot of stuff on there. So once these are cured and I start taking pictures of them, you will see the final picture on my Instagram. I like it. I think this fragrance is... It's unusual because it doesn't exactly smell like apple pie. It is a very... I don't know. It, I think it's something you could probably use all year round. It's not necessarily a baked apple pie scent. Those other notes in there, I, I feel like bring something else to it that I just can't describe. <laughs> but it is a very nice fragrance. It's, and if you're not someone who's really into the foodie scents, I think it has more of just like a fresh apple smell to it. But it is a really nice fragrance. I don't know how many times I've said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> This soap will be available on the December, I can never remember my dates, December 16th. I don't want to get it wrong and then I start questioning myself, but this is a December 16th release soap, so you guys can get your hands on one of them. Very, very cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. Questions or comments, leave them for me down below. And for all my creative people out there, whether you are someone who has a business and you know make you make handmade stuff, or if you're someone who just likes to mess around at home and make fun crafts just for yourself, leave me some links down below and just show off some of your work. Feel free to do that and share off your creativity as well. If there are things that you like to do, whether you're a soap maker and you have experimented with other stuff or you just like to, I don't know, have fun. <laughs> Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a very nice day. And I will smell you later.